what is up and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are excited about this series. So this is the second part of my Sims 3 to Sims 4 series. If you missed the first part, go ahead and check that out. I posted it a few days ago. We recreated Jamie Jolina. So basically, I'm going to be recreating the Sims from the Sims 3 and their houses in the Sims 4. It's so much fun. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun doing it with the Sims 2 families and I am obsessed with this series now. Like, I, it's all I want to do is recreate these families. I'm on a roll. I'm going to probably upload it twice a week until I kind of get sick of it. Uh, but I'm having so much fun right now. <laughs> so expect these two times a week. But today we are recreating the Juan Goddard. Goddard? Oh my gosh. Why is that so weird to say? It sounds like I'm saying it wrong. Juan Goddard. Goddard? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Family from Sunset Valley in The Sims 3. And it consists of couple Hank Goddard and Pauline Juan who are engaged. Um, they both have commitment issue traits, which we'll talk about that in a minute. So they're kind of like reluctant to get married. So it's kind of a fun story to tell when you play them. You can go either way. But they live an easy, musical, party-filled lifestyle on the beach. Um, and their house is a lot of fun to recreate. But let's talk about Hank a little bit. So Hank is the fiancé fiance of Pauline Wan. Uh, he's similar kind of to like Don Lothario and Hal Breckenridge, if y'all are familiar with him. Uh, he's kind of described as a typical beach bum. So in The Sims 3, he's wearing a blue tank top with purple shorts and flip flops. So I kind of tried to copy that style in The Sims 4, which I think he looks really nice. He's very handsome. Um, and he's living with Pauline, obviously, but it's, like I said, difficult to get them to marry because they both have the commitment issues trait, and they both aspire to be home, homeworkers, wrong, heartbreakers. <laughs> he works in the law enforcement career track as a traffic cop, um... So yeah, I don't know. He's also very like muscular, I notice. But what's interesting is he looks very muscular and bulky. That's kind of why I bulked him up. But he only has level 3 athletic in The Sims 3. So, I don't know. Does he spray Does he spray paint? Does he spray tan those muscles on? Because he looks real thick. He looks real big. Um, but anyways. <laughs> I gave him the serial romantic trait since he does have the heartbreaker trait in The Sims 3. I kind of tried to like coordinate those traits. I wish we had all the traits that we have in The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. That's a bummer. Like it really is. You don't realize how much we are missing until you get on The Sims 3 and see the stuff. But not complaining about that. That's a whole nother topic. <laughs> Anyways, on to his fiance, Pauline. She's so freaking beautiful, y'all. Obviously, uh, from her name, Juan, she's from Chinese descent. But she is a fan in the music career, and like I said, she is also um, reluctant to get married uh, to Hank because she also has that commitment issue trait, and her lifetime wish is also to be a heartbreaker, so I did the same with her traits and her aspiration. Um, anyways... <laughs> She also may be related to Patricia Wan of the Wan household in The Sims 2 Seasons, if y'all are familiar with her. Um, they both have black hair and round faces. Uh, Pauline's traits, such as party animal and flirty, are also similar to Patricia's popularity aspiration. So I think most people kind of think that they're related, which is really cool to see, you know, the different families and how they're related throughout the different um, expansion packs and generations of The Sims. That's always fun to learn about. So make sure y'all check out Sims Wikia if you haven't. It's a lot of fun if you're like a Sims fanatic like I am. <laughs> but anyways, she likes to, uh, you know, play the guitar. She's in the fan music career. So I think this would be like a really fun family to play uh, for, you know, to get famous coming out since she aspires to like be famous and everything. Um... <clears throat> So, she's kind of like very ambitious, so I gave her that trait. I, I don't know. I think they'd be a lot of fun to play. And as you see, I'm building their house now, but I started building it in Willow Creek. But then, once I got to like the landscaping and I realized I have to start putting like palm trees down, I was like, wait, no, this needs to be <laughs> wrong lot. So, you'll see I end up finishing the build on the little beachy island in Windenburg because it just suits the... the the house better because you know they are supposed to be like beach bums that's why I kind of gave Hank that look and then also Pauline I 
gave her like braids instead of pigtails because I don't know I just I like braids more I don't really like pigtails on grown women I mean no offense if you're a grown woman and you wear pigtails that was so rude of me I'm not trying to be offensive I'm just saying it reminds me of a little girl <laughs> so I gave her braids which isn't much different but they're like really cute and I really like that outfit, that CC piece that I used on her, which we're way past that, but <laughs> I'm a little behind on my voiceover right now. <laughs> but anyways, you know, like the little shorts and the flowers, it just reminded me like very tropical and very beachy and very, very cute. I don't ever really use that CC clothing, but it's like one of my favorites. So yeah, anyways, I really, really like their house and I think I meant, yeah, I did mention this in the last recreation I did with Jamie Jolena. If you watch my Sims 2 series where I recreated all the families, you know that I was so freaking anal about making sure everything was exactly the same as in the Sims 2 as far as like their outfits and especially the house. But I decided to go a little bit more relaxed and carefree in this. So I really just wanted to, you know, recreate them and completely give them like makeovers and have fun decorating their house. I didn't want it to be so like plain and boring because what I've realized, you know, as I'm recreating these houses and looking at them, I know that Sunset Valley is supposed to be like set and dated before Pleasant View, which was in The Sims 2 time. So kind of, it's confusing. And then The Sims 4, in case you didn't know, is like an alternate universe, so it doesn't even really correlate to either one, either one of The Sims 2 or Sims 3, which is stupid to me, but whatever. Anyways, I realized, what I'm trying to say, is that all these houses, like, obviously we had uh, the color wheel, and we had the patterns, and we could really make anything whatever pattern we wanted in The Sims 3, but all of the pre-made EA houses in The Sims 3 were very, like, dated they were very like 70s ish vibes i got like really old timey not old timey as in like 30s and 50s but you know like retro um like wood furniture the wallpaper and just really ugly like probably almost uglier than the sims 2 ea houses that i was so anal about recreating so i wanted to make it pretty for the sims 4 because i don't know i think these sims have such detailed storylines and there's so many and it'd be really really fun just to see them in the sims 4 i like to play in houses that look cute that look good so i tried to recreate that the best way i knew how so i kept the same layout the same you know floor plan same concept same style uh i kind of did the same thing with the landscaping just try to follow that completely all the way through i think it turned out really nice and then also Obviously, we had cars in The Sims 3, like right there on the side of the house, you know, behind the house, that area. It was actually like a driveway in The Sims 3, and I was considering putting that here, but I put them on an island in Windenburg, so, I mean, you can't have a, but your car float on water, you know, I mean, it wouldn't even make sense to put like a fake car in the driveway right there because they live on an island in Windenburg. I take this game way too seriously, y'all. <laughs> too literally, but empty ways this house y'all i cut out so much of the interior that i was so freaking indecisive on because i wasn't trying to copy it to the t i really wanted to make it like light bright and beachy looking and it took me a hot minute to get the flow going i usually start with the living room and once i get that color scheme and the furniture you know that 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 vibe i'm going for it's easy for me to like flow from room to room but it sometimes takes me a minute to get started so trust me i cut out so much footage that's why it like you didn't see me picking the wallpaper or the floor because it took too freaking long but i think their house is so warm not warm that's the wrong word bright <laughs> and like cozy and homey and beachy and I don't know I think it just fits them as like a couple I don't know but I think they're a really fun couple to play with I did play with them a bit in The Sims 3 I always had them get married but he would always cheat on her and she would always cheat on him and they would always end up getting divorced and I always had them have a child because this house is two bedrooms so upstairs once we get there you'll see what I did with it but I kind of made it similar to the Sims 3 house upstairs they had their bedroom and then they had like a workout room so I kind of gave the spare bedroom the little workout theme room for you know Hank since he likes to work out and then I put Pauline a guitar and a piano in there to work on since she is in the music career but you know I would always you know 
put their stuff elsewhere in the house or in their room or they would just have to sacrifice when they had a kid. But, you know, they both had those aspirations and they were really flirty and just commitment issues. <laughs> they would always cheat on each other and they always ended up getting divorced, which is was a fun storyline to play with too. So, I don't know. I just think they'd be a lot of fun to play, like I said, especially with Get Famous coming out since she wants to, you know, be... Um, famous or in the music career I could see her aspiring to do that and I also put a little laundry room in this house I mentioned that I was going to try to start doing that in all the houses that I recreate because I like to play with laundry in the sims I just think it's realistic I think most people agree so I'm going to try to add those on if I can somehow some way shape or form um, and then also let me got let me guys let me know you guys <laughs> if you would like to see me start recreating after I get Get done with Sunset Valley after Sunset Valley which is a lot of families if I'm still having so much fun with this and you guys are still enjoying it so much I can start recreating like the families from Appaloosa Plains from the pets expansion pack or like Trin Twinbrook expansion pack with um get to work or not get to work ambitions yeah that was it sims 3 ambitions because i don't know i just i love the storyline of all these sims and like i said it's just so much freaking fun but oh, you guys i'm out of breath this is a struggle y'all have no idea how badly i freaking despise voiceovers i despise them with everything in me it takes me probably about hmm, 10 goes to get started until I start flowing and then it's, I'm too far in, you know, like 11 minutes now. You got to keep going. You are not starting over, girlfriend. You got to keep on trucking. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I've about talked about the family as much as I can and the house. So, yeah. <laughs> That's a wrap for me and this family, you guys. But I do want y'all to start leaving your suggestions down below of what families you like to see. Keep in mind, though, that some of the families that I'm going to be recreating from Sunset Valley, their lots require me to use, like, terrain tools to get it, like, accurate. And I think it'd be really fun for me to play around with the terrain tools once that patch comes out. So, like, the goth family and the land grab and, you know, some other families that have different terrain on their lots I will have to hold off on them for a little bit so I'm doing more of like the simple builds which is a lot of fun it's all right <laughs> it's all right it'll do but yeah I think their kitchen turned out really cute it doesn't look anything like their kitchen their house really looks okay the exterior yes but the interior man I gave it a makeover I think it's so freaking cute so beachy um it is different. It's just a different layout. And it's fun to work with. And I, I've said this before. When I build houses and my speed builds, I usually... I'm not creative enough to just get on the game and build like some people. I just don't have those skills yet. I have to look up floor plans. And these houses from The Sims 3 that I'm recreating, they're kind of different floor plans that I've never really seen before. And typically wouldn't like... Na uh, gravitate towards if I was just building in my spare time, you know, just copying a completely different house plan. So it's a lot of fun to to play with something different and like a different style. And the best part about it is you're creating it or recreating it for a family in mind that has a personality and that most people are familiar with. So it's a lot of fun to kind of get their personality in the house. So anyways, I hope you like it. The house, of course, will be available for a download on the gallery as well as the family. The house does not include any custom content, but um, it probably includes <laughs> something from every pack. Uh, I know most people are like, yeah, I like your builds, but you use literally everything from every pack. And I don't have all those packs, and it's just kind of an inconvenience because I have to replace the stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really am. But I didn't want to limit myself, like, with the creativity because this is just me being creative. Um, I am working on the save file, though. <laughs> Fun fact. That will be considerate of people who don't have all the packs so for example sunset valley will just be base game oasis springs will just be base game you know get together will just include windenburg that way everything that you download including the families will correlate to the pack and will be considerate of everybody who does not have every pack i won't be using any of the stuff packs besides laundry so stay tuned for that it's gonna be a hot minute until i finish that because i also kind of put it on well i'm still working on it but i'm having so much fun recreating this this could probably be a save file in itself just a whole save file with all the sims 3 families 
hmm, I might do that. Because <laughs> I am building all these houses uh, for The Sims 3 on the demolished or bulldozed custom worlds, you know, where there's no lots in there. You just go in there and build. So I, I may be working on two save files. Let me let me know what you guys think. Should I do that? <laughs> Anyways, okay, their bedroom. I know it's very girly, very girly. <laughs> but I imagine that as a woman myself, most men understand that the women are the decorators. We like to decorate. We want things to look cute. So I just imagine Pauline did the thing. <laughs> she made it really cute, really nice. That's why it's kind of pink. But you know what? Hank can deal with it because he's got his workout room. He's got his little gym going on. And he's probably going to cheat on her. So, I mean, let her have let her have her fun in her bedroom. But, yeah. Here I am doing their little extra bedroom here, which like I said is the workout room and her little area to do all of her music and have fun, all that fun stuff. Um, and of course, obviously you can sacrifice all of their hobby stuff and then once they have a baby or something like that, you can turn that into a bedroom. I also put like their little desk out there in the hallway. So the floor plan kind of messed up there. I realized once I got upstairs that that wall right there cut into one of the windows and kind of messed it up. So I kind of just had to fix it. But it was cute. It made a little cubby hole for the desk, which was perfect because originally the desk in The Sims 3 is downstairs. But it was so cluttered downstairs, I couldn't take it. It was just too much clutter. So I'm glad that worked out worked out perfectly and also I don't know if you guys probably didn't even recognize this or realize it but in their bedroom in the house in general I forgot to put a laundry basket for their laundry but I did that off camera so if you download the house I did add that so don't worry um and then outside I gave them like their little fire pit because they did have a fire pit in the sims 3 and I put like a picnic table out there and some like planner boxes I don't know I thought their ha like their landscaping was like so nice and then like inside like downstairs in the living room I kind of put some of those like potted plants so maybe maybe Pauline likes to have some plants as decor I don't know so I kind of got a little bit creative with that out in the backyard but anyways y'all this video is starting to wrap up and I am rambling <sighs> I think you all deserve like a freaking award or some kind of recognition or something. I wish I could just give you a high five for listening to my freaking voiceovers because I hate them. I just, I cringe, cringe. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which Sims 3 family you want to see me recreate next. Leave it in the comments down below. And yeah, subscribe if you have not. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>